here and today we're going to be showing you how to save multiple frames, load multiple frames and I'm going to do it all from one main menu but for this you, it's probably going to be quite a long tutorial I would say because it takes a while to do so I'm just going to try and explain it and do it as fast as I can because obviously you just probably don't want to sit around and listen to me do this for ages and ages so okay what we're going to do is you're going to create three frames in the storyboard editor control B just click on the number here like that and I, damn I shouldn't have created another one delete yes okay and then go to your frame one create two actives so they don't have to be detailed I know the top one's frame two and the bottom one's going to be frame three so then we're going to click uh, control A and control and E and it then go, that'll take you to the event editor then do new condition uh, the mouse and keyboard and then the mouse and then user clicks on object single click and then the, your button then drag it down and change it to be the other button okay so which one's on the top active is on the top so this is active and this is active so then we're going to go under starboard controls and click jump to frame frame 2 and then jump to frame frame 3 okay so that's the main menu bit done now we're going to go to frame 2 and we're going to click make an active there oops and then another active here and then this one's movement is going to be drag and, drag and drop and then that's going to be there and then go, go control E to event editor do new condition uh, storyboard control start of frame and then go under storyboard controls and click uh, frame no uh, uh, it's one, one frame position load frame position desktop oh use an expression uh, file name is going to be bin dollar one is it? Was it brackets one? Yeah, and then zero, and then we're going to do new condition mouse and keyboard, keyboard press, pressing a key escape, uh, frame position, save frame position as bin dollar sign brackets one brackets one and then put zero okay that's frame one and now we're going to do a new condition uh, keyboard and mouse user clicks on an object single click active and then create object active two in the center of the screen okay so yeah now we're going to repeat this so we're going to create two actives one in the top one off the screen set this one to be drag and drop go to the event editor double click uh, start frame and uh, user uh, presses escape because that's our exit key to exit the game um, frame position I'm on the escape one so it's going to be save so it's bin uh, one okay now this is the bit I'm going to explain to you on the other one we put bin bin dollar sign one brackets that's fine you copy that but now we got to this bit and we put zero now that is the version of your file and if you've got the same file versions on a computer they will override each other or replace each other so if you created a file on your desktop 
called lol and then put a file called lol in a folder and then drag the one from your desktop into the folder it would replace it and you'd have one folder still so that's basically what this is doing so to save multiple you're going to change it to be one um, and the load frame position use expression down here at the bottom and it's going to be bin dollar sign one and then that's one again okay and then click new condition um you, mouse user clicks on an object single click active create object active to in the center of the screen and that's your application so if we file build uh yeah application not build let's not build in there let's build it here oh I need to enter a name uh, saving more than one frame and let's close this because that doesn't need to be seen uh, <laughs> Okay, here it is. So this is our application that we've got. Um, if we double click it, we get our main menu here. Now, these files are probably going to save to this area here. So we're going to see that. So if we go to, um, actually I forgot something. Go back to your editor and when where it says upon pressing a scare, change that to don't change it, leave what's in it there, but also add jump to frame, frame one, because that's your main menu. That was just a silly mistake, and it won't work if we don't have that. Okay, now rebuild it. Okay, now if we go into it, we've got our, uh, our main menu. If we click the top one, it'll say it never occurred while reading the file. That it's going to do that all the time. Every single time you load it up for the first time, it will do that. Because what it's saying is there's no file there because we haven't saved it before. So it's just looking for something that's not there. So now if we click on this and drag this one, let's make a pattern. We're going to put a 1 on the... on the first page so we can see what they're saving. Let's put it put it in new room Roman numerals. Uh there we go. So there we've got a one. Now if we click escape it'll take us back to the main menu and here will be one. That is the save file. Now if we click in two no file uh no file this file was not saved by this application. What? Hmm. Apparently that doesn't like it. Maybe if I was to change this to be bin 2. I'm sorry for this little inter interruption with this, but this used to be the file number at the end. Maybe it's changed to be that number. So we're going to find out. Uh, just build your app. I'm just going to build this application. And then we will find out. So, yeah, if this works, all you just need to do. Oh, it's loaded up. Don't do that. Okay. Um, what all I've done here is if I've gone to frame three, which was here, and just right-click on the ticks at the top and click edit, 
And where it says bin dollar sign brackets one, change that to be brackets two. Okay, you can leave the one in there, I think. Okay, so we're going to build that. This is kind of an experiment for me because it's been a while since I've done multiple frames, but it is possible. So, okay, so if we load them up, there you go, an error has occurred because there's no file for it to load, so just click OK. Now, if we, I'm not going to spend days just doing it, if we just drag these out like this. There. Escape. Okay, there it is. OB1. It's saved here. So now if we click 2, an error has occurred while reading the file. Because there's no file here for that frame. So now if we just click this a bunch of times. And then if we go like this. Do mini numerals. There we go, and then click escape, it takes us back to the main menu, and there we go, OB10. Now, what that is, is that's another save file, I'll put these all in a folder with like with the CXE, otherwise it's going to, if you've got a lot of frames, it will definitely be annoying for your desktop. Um, but these are the two save files, and if I click on this one, it loads the one up again, if I click escape and click this one it loads up the two. So that's how you do multiple save files. And just one quick last explanation over this before I use leave and do it for whatever you need it for. Um, all you've got to do is in frame two it's you load the frame position as bin dollar sign and then the brackets and inside them you want a one and then version zero and then bin dollar sign one version zero and then um, on frame three you want instead of bin dollar sign one you want bin dollar sign two version I don't think the version greatly matters it could be version zero probably but I've put a version one in because why not <laughs> and bin dollar sign two version one so yeah whenever you want if you want a third frame it'll be bin dollar sign three fourth frame bin dollar sign four if you've got a million frames or bin dollar sign a million but if you've got that many frames your computer might lag and crash so yeah i hope this tutorial helped you and if it oh yeah if you can close it enough open it and it'll still save them so you don't have to worry about closing it and not saving your work or your, whatever you're doing on it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped you out with whatever you needed double frame saving for. And I'll see you next time. Bye.